it is a very easy way and a quick way to balance a feed ration um, the page uh, shows us um, appendix 2 it uh, shows us the values of different uh, ingredients which we normally use in the feed then appendix 2 continued it shows us the other type of ingredients which we normally use in feed uh, then this is uh, appendix 3 very important it uh, it shows us what is the requirement of uh, a steer according to the average daily weight gain so the case study which we are going here uh, going to do here is uh, in section 4 uh, it and the last option it gives us uh, uh, last line is 600 body weight 600 pounds of body weight and average daily gain should be 3 pounds per day its dry matter intake is 14 and crude protein requirement on dry matter basis is 15.4 and TDN requirement on dry matter basis is 80 percent so the first step is um, what does the steer require as we have seen in the table tdn requirement is 80 percent and uh, crude protein requirement is 15.4 percent second step what does our feed supply we are ingredients we the feed which we are using in the ration are alpha alpha hay it supplies 60 percent of tdn and 20 percent of crude protein cp and the uh, second thing is uh, grain mix grain mix has uh, 85 percent of total digestive nutrients TDN and 14% uh, of crude protein the third, third step is we balance uh, the two ingredients for um, on the basis of TDN so uh, this is Pearson square method it, it's very simple uh, we draw a square and we write one ingredient at the top corner and the second ingredient in the bottom corner of uh, the square then we write the desired TDN at the center of the square. Then we subtract uh, diagonally uh, the corner value from the center value. So in case of alpha, alpha 60 minus 80 is 20 parts and uh, grain mix is 85 minus 80 is 5 parts. So this tells us that we should feed alpha, alpha hay um, in our ration in uh, 5 parts of alpha, alpha hay and uh, 20 parts of grain mix if we convert it to percentage. Um, it gives us 25% of the ration should contain alpha alpha hay and 75% of the ration should be the grain mixture if we want to uh, get the average daily gain of 3 pounds from a 600 pound steer the fourth step we have to, we will calculate the crude protein of the percentage of ingredients according to uh, which we are which we have calculated in the third step so alpha alpha hay 25 percent of the ration and it has 20 percent of protein we convert the percentage 20 divided by 100 is 0 0.20 so alpha alpha hay will give us five percent of crude protein and uh, grain mixture is 75 percent of the ration and it has 14 percent crude protein it will give us 10.5 percent of crude protein we sum these two ingredients and it gives us 10.5 plus 5 is 15.5 crude protein and uh, as we calculated uh, as we uh, saw in the first step our crude protein requirement is 15.4 and uh, the sum of uh, sum of crude protein of the two ingredients gives us 15.5 so it's uh, okay we are we get the required protein from this ration now the final step we have to calculate the as fed weight of weight from as fed weight from the dry matter weight the dry matter requirement of uh, this tier is 14 pounds of dry matter per day so our feed contains 25 percent of alpha alpha hey, if we get 25 percent of 14 is uh, 3.5 pounds of dry matter from alpha alpha hay and 75% uh, of grain mix so 14 75% of 14 is 10.5 so 
we require 10.5 pounds of diameter from grain and 3.5 pounds of diameter from hay some of these two is 14 lbs so we have to get the 14 we have or required desired is 14 so now calculating um, the as fit weight according to the dry matter value of ingredient alfalfa hay has 90 percent of dry matter so 3.5 lb uh, hay divided by 90 percent it gives us 3.9 pounds of hay as fed then 10.5 pounds of grain divided by 85 percent of dry matter or our grain mixture contains 85 percent dry matter so the as fed weight is 12.4 pounds of grain as fed so this tear would need almost four pounds of hay per day and about 12.5 pounds of grain per day to get the three pound of average daily gain